what the sight in the game can see the boxing boys. Boxingboys.com, live here with Leon Margolis from Warriors Boxing. I just wanted to ask, uh, have you had any time to take a look at this lawsuit that Bob Arum has against PBC? Because he kind of mentions you indirectly and says well, that the... He directly, he mentions Warriors Boxing. But he also calls the promoters dealing with PBC sham promoters. Do you take any offense to that? Like a sham promotion. It doesn't. Is there something in the rule books that us boxing fans don't know? Do, do does PBC need to have uh, their own promotional license, or can they continue to conduct business through your license? They're not promoters. They're, PBC is a brand. That's, that, and, and there's a management company that manages the fighters. They can hire whatever promoter they want to do their event. Now, as a as, a, as far as I'm concerned, it wasn't has no merit. No merit. And that was my next question. Do you think and that by this? The way, and by the way, his business is up. His business is up. Okay. He's, he's making more money than he ever made. He's got. He's got. Uh, HBO's got higher ratings they ever had, all because of the PBC. Everybody's talking boxing, everybody's business is up, and he should be trying to work with us, not complaining about what we're doing for boxing. Now, do you think that, uh, you know, Bob Arum is just a bit sour? Because this is something that he used to do. The word, uh, the phrase actually, in-house, was invented through Top know, Rank. Bob Arum is sour, Bob Arum is surrendering, or Bob Arum it's like somebody else give them bad advice. It's certainly not the smart thing. Now, how's it feel for you? You were basically known as one of the little promoters. Now you're on the main stage. You're doing, you know, big things, not obviously, with PBC. But, you know, I, I wasn't one of the guys like Bob with connections at HBO. Exactly. But I was, I've was i been an ESPN promoter for how many years? A lot. A lot. I think I've probably done as many ESPN shows as any promoter in the business over the last 10 years. Now, what would you say is the difference for you now and your company after merging or doing business with... Uh, PBC and Al Hammond. I get to promote fights on the biggest stages. NBC, CBS, ABC, ESPN, Spike, these are free networks. Free boxing for all. Exactly. Now, we, we have a lot of uh, media that seem to be trying to cast a dark shadow over PBC and bringing boxing back to mainstream. Could you realistically come up with any negative reasons for PBC? No. None. And all I can say about that media is they're not legitimate media. Because if they were legitimate media, media and, what, and before the growth of the sport, they should be singing the praises of what we're doing. Why do you how think? How many so? years has? How many years? All the writers are talking. Gee, wouldn't it be great to get back on the networks? Now we're back on the networks. Yeah, they seem to just be upset that it's Al Heyman. Do you think that if he wasn't behind the helm of PBC, it wouldn't be all this backlash? If they weren't, they weren't, if it wasn't their idea, or they weren't directly involved, they'd find somebody else to come like My final question, I know you're a busy man. This lawsuit, uh, do you think that it's just uh, a ploy to have the investors at Waddell and Reed, I guess, sh get shaken up and want to back out? I don't know the reason for the lawsuit, unless Bob's saying, I can't compete with the PBC, they're going to drive me out of business, so... I'm desperate people do desperate things, but I, I, I don't understand the whole thing. It makes no sense. How has it been for your fighters now that you are on PBC? You get to slide some of your fighters on these cards and get them prime time exposure, correct? Wonderful. And, and, and Al Hayman is the best manager in the business. So the fighters are mine. And, and Al signed is only better for my fighters and better for me. Well, thank you very much, and uh, we hope you great success on this, uh, Keith. Thurman and Luis Calazo fight and this whole promotion. Yeah, we're gonna, it's going to be a huge crowd and hopefully a big rating on the net. Hopefully, man. He did do 4.8 the first time. That's right. All right, Leon. Thank you.